Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? I still have a head cold, but it's getting a little better. I'm just kind of, mm, kind of tired today, but, um, I don't know. I find that this full moon in Virgo has been kind of draining me a bit. I'm a Virgo rising. I feel like I should, my energy should be more grounded. I don't know. It's kind of strange. But we're going to see what's in going on in the overall general collective energy. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. I have the power of number seven. We could see the chariot card kick in, possibly the seven of wands and or seven of pentacles or seven of swords, I'm feeling. Power, ooh, power of number seven, Scorpio. Maybe we'll get the jackpot number seven, seven, seven. Maybe. Do we get another seven for Scorpio, please? Four, seven, seven, four. Okay, adding up the power of the numbers brings me to the number 18. 18 is in representation of the moon card. There could still be some deceptions that are going on in and around your environment, Scorpio. Maybe you've just been kind of to yourself. Maybe taking a time out, you know. I'm seeing a touch of the four swords in my mind's eye a bit. Something about Darth Vader. I don't know. You guys just recently watched a Star Wars movie or something? Because I was picking up that dark energy off of the moon, and then it's like I saw Darth Vader in my face, like in my head. Not literally in my face. <laughs> Mel, I am your father. Anyway. So. So stupid. <laughs> but I do love Star Wars. Oh boy. Anyway. <laughs> Power of number 18. Let's see what's going on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, number 18 for Scorpio. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? What do they need to know right now in this current moment? Show me what's up. Knight of Pentacles. Something is making its way unto you, Scorpio. Or someone is making their way towards you. Someone that you may feel you have a connection with. It could definitely feel like the energy is moving slow, but I feel like there's an offer. There's some form of an offer coming in. Either this is a job situation or it is on a romantic level. We'll find out. Let's see what this Knight of Pentacles is bringing in for you. How is this Knight of Pentacles coming in for Scorpio's overall energy? What is it all about? We got the moon, power number 18. Somebody could be gearing up to visit you in and around this full moon time frame. 
or reaching out to you. Could be the next full moon phase. We'll find out. <clears throat> Maybe things you feel like things have been in silence mode in regards to your career right now, Scorpio. Or somebody has been very silent with you, but they're making their way. They're headed. Something is headed in your direction that is going to be solid and stable. And I feel like you're going to get past this feeling of drowning in your emotions. There could be this shift of energy, possibly um, around March 18th. the moon coming into effect for Scorpio's energy? What's up? Ooh, judgment. Somebody's making a judgment call. Somebody's headed in your direction either to beg for a second chance or something is getting revitalized either in your career or now you are gearing up to make a final judgment call in regards to something in particular. It could be happening between March 18th and March 20th right on that cusp line of Pisces, um, Pisces going into Aries because we're going to be starting up a new Zodiac year very soon. So set your intentions for the new Zodiac year. Um, that's going to be happening between March 20th and March 21st. It's that cusp line of Pisces into Aries. And we'll be on, it'll be right on the day of the spring equinox. So you may be in this final judgment call where you may also release you could end up releasing something with inside of you that is no longer, it could be an energy. It could be a funk that you've been going through and it's going to get released. This is like releasing like toxic karmic energy or um, any form of trauma, maybe doing a past life regression, who knows, but there's a judgment call and somebody wants to revitalize the situation. There's a lot of green and this teal and the mossy green and the aqua and the blue and like the robin's egg blue. It's a lot of this is dealing with your, uh, heart chakra and your throat chakra. Some of you might need to get back to the gym in order to raise up the heart rate just a little bit, you know, um, to get that uh, circulation. You might, you, maybe a lot of you have been feeling very sluggish or dragging your feet along at a snail's pace, and something here may need to um, be revitalized. This could be about diet, nutrition, exercise as well, um, streamlining your schedule so that you're taking care of your health as well. I'm also picking this up, but there's a judgment call. Let's see what judgment is all about. The Hierophant. This is something about commitment. Commitment to an idea, a project, a new line of work, committing yourself to what it is that you desire or a new commitment to a new job or somebody is coming in your direction, a specific person that is going to give you the commitment that you're seeking because they made a judgment call. You know what I mean? So let's see what this energy of the Hierophant is. This is like, I feel like this is escalating in your spirituality, Scorpio, like getting to another level of consciousness. Oh my freaking God, the world card, the world. Power of number 21. So remember how I just said about March 18th through like the 21st, there's this fresh new start releasing all of this energy from 
2022 into the early stages of 2023. Now looking at once Aries season comes in, looking at your goals or your responsibilities a lot different. There's going to be some kind of huge momentum, I feel, once you guys make a decision on something in particular or make the final judgment call or releasing or there will be an end maybe to a job situation that you just don't want to be in anymore um and you're you're moving off on your own to go start something new or go work for somebody new the tower moment this is very scorpionic energy there could be a tower moment for you on March 16th where it's like this breakthrough. Like you're going to set the course maybe for a new kind of foundation. What you're willing to put up with and what you're not willing to put up with. Okay. What is the world for Scorpio? Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to be putting your nose to the grindstone and doing what it is that you want to do, Scorpio. All of this creative talent that you have that's been hidden in the dark or you haven't brought things to the light, you've been drowning maybe in your emotions of how to maybe put yourself out there to do something different. There could have been a lot of fears that have been holding you back from achieving greatness. You know what I mean? And in truth, yeah, of course you're great, but this is a different level of greatness to where you actually internally feel it and you know it and you're going to claim it. Let's go into the moonology cards. Let's see how the moon cycles are affecting your overall zodiac sign in this current moment. <clears throat> Hold your vision. Fixed moon. I feel like this is, you know, keep your eye on the prize, Scorpio. It's not time to give up. It's time to move forward. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. There's, I feel what's happening here is that there's going to end up being great change for you between now and the new moon in Gemini. New moon in Gemini could happen. I think it starts. I have the astrological calendar with me. Hang on one second. It's either at the end of May or the early part of June. Let's find out. Mm. Let's see. Uh, hang on. I'm looking, you guys. Hang on a second. <clears throat> well, there will be a full moon. In the sign of Sagittarius, but that's not what I'm looking for. Hang on one second. Let me see if it's June 10th. Hang on. Hmm. Sometimes I wish the print wasn't so small. <laughs> mm. Ah, hang on a second. Okay. <clears throat> the new moon in the sign of Gemini will kick in, if I'm seeing this correctly on the calendar, it's looking like Friday, 
Friday, May 19th of 2023, because I'm looking at the symbols here. Yeah. So between May 19th and through the 21st, because then the sun will officially enter into the sign of Gemini on Sunday, May 21st. But the new moon in Gemini kicks in. New moon in Gemini. Because then we'll go into Gemini season. So it's between now and the end of May. Between May 19th and the 21st. That spirit right now wants you to hold on to the vision and not to lose sight of what it is that you feel you're meant to do, Scorpio. Okay. Um, let me quickly go into the hold your vision. Let's see. Fixed moon. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, there it is. Thank you, spirits. There are two main possibilities with this card. The first is that you need to stand firm in whatever situation you're in. So I feel like that is about not backing down. And when you are making a solid decision, that judgment call, do not waver from that judgment call. Don't go back. Don't retreat back. You know what I mean? The second very different interpretation is that something is stuck. So you could feel again that the energy has been stuck or you've been drowning in your, in your emotions, in your romantic life or your financial life right now. That could be uh, that could well be referring to the situation you're asking about. If that's the case, have a think about what you can do to grease the wheel so that events move forward. Are you being stubborn? If so, that's great. Because if you really want things to change, there's a solution. Stop digging your heels in. Stop digging your heels into something that is no longer serving your highest purpose. Because I feel that a lot of you Scorpios are internally feeling the burn that there is a change that is coming and you're trying to kind of put your finger on it. You know what I mean? Be the one to break a deadlock. Exactly. Scorpio is all about change and transformation. With two interpretations for this card, it's up to you to decide what's going on and which meaning applies to you. This offers up a chance for some self-reflection, which can also be that moon energy. Staying power, faith, or patience are needed. Someone needs to back down or, you know, and maybe someone who needs to back down is not necessarily you. It could be somebody outside of you that could be pushing or probing at you to think in a particular way or direction or not to make a choice or a decision. Avoid stagnation. A personal or professional relationship will be enduring. So again, this is buckling down to like your dreams and your goals right now and what you need to do to thrive, to take care of yourself, to take care of your family, etc. Let's see the new moon in Gemini. Communication is key. A successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. If that is about a boss, a job situation, a specific person, Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. And I have said this to you guys too in regards to your romantic life or your specific person. Go find yourself a notebook or a journal and write out the pros and cons. Right? If the cons are outweighing the pros about that person or a situation, I want you to evaluate it, pull out that piece of paper and tuck it underneath your bed and sleep on it. Dominate over the cons, the things that have been bothering you or feel feels like certain things are, you know, have been moving slow or if you feel like you can't talk to somebody or reach out because it feels like there's this, you know, energetic wall between you and someone else. Emails, text messages, and all other forms of communication will also help you now. If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming. A time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. Tell someone how you feel. Don't be all in your head and not in your heart. 
someone is flirting with you or they want to flirt with you, read more books. I know I have been purchasing a lot of books lately, you know, and waiting to carve out time, you know, little by little, you know, um, I'm currently reading the book two weeks notice. It's a fantastic book by Amy Porter. Uh, I think it's Amy Porterfield. Um, definitely for anybody who is looking to take that leap of faith into your own business and to get things fired up or revved up. So, it is time to make major judgment calls, Scorpio, and not deter back to what you once knew. And communicating effectively, because with this Eight of Pentacles card, this is about you and your hustle. Bottom line. And I know this energy. I totally know this energy. Okay? So... My beautiful, amazing Scorpios, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, you guys, take care.